started uh, doing jewellery a little while ago, I don't tend to say, oh, by the way, I'm a taxidermist, because you never know who you're going to meet. You could meet somebody that's dead against it. Oh. It's generally um, relaxing to do because you're concentrating so hard on what you're working on. I find it quite therapeutic. So many people were asking me how to do, uh, do taxidermy and at, at the time it was the only way that I could tell people uh, was by doing a show and tell. Kirsten, who helps me, she's very patient whereas I'm not. First time um, Amanda taught me, uh, we had, there was two other girls that were with us that were learning as well, and um, a couple of beers, slice and dice, it was good fun. It was, it was a bit like a, a knitting circle, like an old lady's knitting circle, but instead we had beer and uh, mice. I met her at, um, it was a bit of a geek, uh, meet up where a bunch of people got together who were into the same sort of stuff like sci-fi and she was there. When we, um, my wife and Martin moved in together, um, we set the freezer up and I didn't really tell him what was in there so he's opened up the freezer and he's like, Kirsten, do you know there's a rat skull in the freezer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, get used to it. My dad is a plumber and uh, he goes around really early in the morning so he sees all the fresh roadkill before it gets flattened. And um, he picks me up uh, rabbits. He's even picked me up a couple of deers before as well. Um, I tried the same process for a muntjac deer, but you can only really do this process with quite small animals. It just looked like a sick greyhound afterwards. One time when I wore the uh, taxidermy jewellery, I was standing uh, on a train, uh, on the underground train, and a woman saw it uh, on my jacket and absolutely screamed. <laughs> I've had a few. Um, I've just had a few nasty emails. So unfortunately, the internet has uh, introduced a new form of bullying. I don't think stuffed animals is like. I just don't think it's right. They're dead for a reason. I can appreciate why people don't like it and why they might be offended by it. I, I, I wouldn't want to try and change anyone's opinion. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if they really start to lay into me about it, then um, all you have to do is generally look at their shoes or the bag or something like that. And of course it's leather. And straight away you can just kind of say, well, that's an animal you're wearing there. <laughs> what difference does it make? I have a pair of leather shoes, so I'd say it's not that much different to that, I suppose. As long as you can make a fairly decent job out of it, you can pretty much bring that animal back to life. I'm not really different to anybody else, I just stuff animals. <laughs> <laughs>